So let's get into uh, Ms. Harris. Interesting woman. Skin color, it doesn't matter. This is not a skin color play. All right. She identifies as black. She went to Howard University. Fine. Her her father um, was a Jamaican. Her mother is an Indian American, two immigrants. Okay. Uh, She was born Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, on October 20th, 1964 in Oakland, California. So that would put her 56 years old this coming October. She had a very affluent upbringing. Her parents were professionals. They were immigrants to this country. They did very well. Okay? She was deprived of nothing. She wasn't the little girl looking out the window being bussed into a tough school. That's what she wants you to think. That's really not what happened. Yes, she was caught up in the busing. That's true. But this wasn't some kind of a ghetto situation where she was being bussed to better herself. No. She had two very professional and successful parents. Okay. So she gets, after she graduates from Howard, she comes back to California, and she gets involved in San Francisco politics. Now, back at that time, San Francisco wasn't what it is now. It was a functioning liberal city. Now it is a far-left, collapsing city. The power in San Francisco was Willie Brown, all right, who was the mayor there. He and Ms. Harris had an affair, okay, and... He mentored Senator Harris, all right? He guided her through the California political system. And she was appointed to some commissions. She was the district attorney of San Francisco from 2004 to 2011. Then she was the California attorney general from 2011 to 17. Then she was elected senator. So standard issue, machine politician, all right? Kamala Harris is a machine politician politician. She's not a populist. She's not a socialist. Not any of that. She's a machine politician. And the machine in California is far, far left. We all know that. That's who she is. So she decides after just being a senator for less than three years to run for president. She gets nowhere. She tops out at 15 percent support among Democrats in the primary system. The campaign was dull. She looked befuddled, not as befuddled as Mr. Biden, but confused. She changed her positions on a lot of different things. Really, nobody could get a handle on who she is. Her personal life is standard, right? She's married to a lawyer. Um, who has, they don't have any children, but she has two stepchildren. The lawyer was married before. Nothing, you know, out of the ordinary. But she is a person who embraces San Francisco values, and that's very important to understand. So what the deuce are San Francisco values? Well, as I said on the radio this morning on the O'Reilly Update, and I hope you check that out, Uh, on BillOReilly.com. We post every day if you don't get it in your town. Here is the rundown of San Francisco values. Okay. Avoidance of religion. Secularism rules. Inclusion is everything. Lax border enforcement. Free citizenship, amnesty for all undocumented here, and a fast track to vote. That's very important. So if you give citizenship to all the undocumented in the United States, about 15 to 20 million people, and you fast track them to the boat, the Republican Party pretty much disappears. We become a one party country if that happens. No due process. This is my beef with Kamala Harris. She does not believe in due process. All accusations are convictions in her mind, and we'll prove that in a minute. Low crime enforcement. Now, from a DA and an attorney general, he doesn't want to incarcerate. She doesn't want to, you know, doesn't want to do any of that. Me too. Absolutely. Political correctness. Okay, fine. Uh, Green New Deal. We love it. Right? These are all San Francisco values, and she's in 100%. There is nothing about Senator Harris that goes against the far left orthodoxy. Nothing. She has no dissenting opinion. 
Bill O'Reilly is back on TV and only on the first. No spin news every weeknight at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on the first.